Welcome back to Africa 54. The United Nations is urging an end to airline bans to Ebola-affected countries. The disease has been reported now in the Democratic Republic of Congo. Ebola Response Coordinator for the United Nations, David Nabarro, told a news conference in Sierra Leone that the disease is still gaining ground on almost the entire territory of the country. It appears that the outbreak is still advancing, but the response is complicated and we all need to do better to organize that response so that it achieves the result quickly without causing more suffering, death and damage. After Ebola was detected in Guinea, the contagious hemorrhagic fever has killed at least 1,400 people in Guinea, Sierra Leone, Liberia and Nigeria. It is the deadliest Ebola outbreak the world has seen. Fears of contamination on flights escalated in July when a man infected with Ebola traveled from Liberia and died in Lagos, Nigeria. Five people, including healthcare workers who treated him, have died in that country since then. We do believe that people who have Ebola infection should not be traveling on airplanes, but we very clearly do not believe that there should be a general ban on airplanes coming in. In a bid to stop the virus, West African governments have closed borders and halted flights from affected countries. The understandable decision of some airlines to not continue to fly into Freetown or Monrovia or Conakry has enormous impact on our ability to bring in staff and to bring in goods. Two Ebola deaths were confirmed in the Democratic Republic of Congo on Sunday. The government is stepping up its efforts to contain the outbreak. Felix Kabange Mumbi is DRC's Minister of Health. Logistics is the biggest challenge because the infected place is remote, and we have to set up a quarantine zone there, which demands quite a lot of money. There isn't even any water supply to build an Ebola treatment center. We have to find a way to get water up there. We welcome aid both domestically and internationally. We need your help. We need real help, all along so that we are able to control the spread of the disease. The disease has reaped a grim toll on healthcare workers, killing nearly 100. 